Mr. Butler, you're an openly gay candidate running against a man that has very strong family values. How do you think that's gonna affect your campaign? I have strong family values as well. It's just that my definition of family is slightly different. I can't believe how far Elliot's come since I knew him in college. Back then, he was the scrawny little bitchy queen, but now he's this hot daddy bear running for city council, living in this huge house. Seriously, if I knew back then what I know now, I totally would have given him that hand job he asked for at student orientation. What are you doing, Wood? Oh, I'm shooting a documentary for Elliot's campaign. Uh, Wood, Elliot's over there, by the way. Well, yeah, I know. His crotch is on fire! Oh dear God, he's staring at me again. Who? Hot daddy bear, two o'clock. He should be arrested for some of the thoughts he's having about me. Reggie, I hate to break it to you, but he's not staring at you, he's staring at me. Oh, please. That's my ex, Ivan. Your ex? The one who broke your heart? Did you know he was coming here today? Yes. And you didn't warn me? Oh, he said it this way. I was waiting for the right moment to tell you I didn't want you making a scene. <laughs> Me? Cause a scene? When have I ever caused a scene? I mean, where is this coming from? Ah! What's his problem? What's he doing here? I mean, who invited him anyway? I did. You? Todd, how could you do that? You know me seeing him here would be incredibly upsetting. I was trying to help you. He's kind of a big shot casting director, so I thought if you two met... That they... <laughs> casting director? Oh my god! Casting director? Talk about burying the lead, Todd. Oh my god. Now I've got to go over there and apologize. <laughs> oh, apologize. That would be a first. Oh, uh, excuse me, uh, Ivan, is it? Hi, hi, Nelson Dorkoff. Yeah, I, I'm really sorry about that uh, little mishap over there. <laughs> you probably recognize me from my work, right? <laughs> I mean, I am the go-to guy for the befuddled adult roles on Disney Channel shows. Thank you. Uh, but you know what? I did actually do a small dramatic role in a Lifetime movie where I played the father of a bulimic teenager named Kaylee. And here's my big scene. Kaylee, listen to me. You don't have to barf to be beautiful. Daddy loves you just the way you are, honey. Come here, baby. Come to daddy. And scene. I have my reel on my phone if you'd like to watch it. I no, thanks. I'd rather stick needles in my balls, if you don't mind. Uh, well, if you think of anything I might be right for in the future, you know. Yeah, sure. If I'm ever casting a show about an insecure, overweight, untalented gay guy whose much hotter, much younger boyfriend's about to leave him for his ex, I'll be sure to give you a fucking call. <laughs> wow. Hi there. We haven't met yet. I'm Jeremy Richards. Oh my God, you are adorable. Please tell me you're one of these super rich donors with his own private jet who's gonna whisk me off to Paris for dinner after this lame party. Uh, actually, I'm here trying to get Elliot support for a project I'm starting in Haiti. Really? Is it one of those all-inclusive resorts where you can drink all the free booze you want? <laughs> no, actually, it's a nonprofit, building homes for orphans. Oh, so they like kids, huh? It's a nice package, right? <laughs> hey, did you guys buy your raffle tickets yet? First prize is a weekend getaway in Big Bear, and the more tickets we buy, the better chance we have of winning. Not now, Wood. I need some FaceTime with Elliot. <sighs> Shit, it doesn't look like things went too well over there. Things are going very well over here.
Marcus Martinez. Hi, I'm Wood Burns. Oh, I can see that. I'm a big Colt fan. So you single? Yes. Oh, you guys get this shirt off. Well, I'm sort of... Oh, fuck it, right? I don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where do you think you're going? Inside to see Elliot. Supporters can have access to the candidate after he's delivered his speech. I am not just a supporter. Elliot and I went to college together. Oh, is it? Wow, I didn't know he was that old. Damn, he really takes care of himself. Listen, slumdog, maybe if you were a millionaire, I'd actually be listening to you right oh, now. Oh, step one foot in that house and I'll call security. Elliot, I came as soon as I got your message. Elliot? Oh, oh Jesus! Oh my God, Elliot! Oh my God, Elliot! What happened? Oh, help! Somebody, please get in here! Oh. Oh. Don't try to talk. Dumbo. He's been shot! Call 911! What the fuck did you do to him? I didn't do anything! Just call 911! Awesome. Wait, oh. Yeah. I'm right here. I'm right outside the house. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Wood, I'm Detective Martinez. I work at the Silver Lake Precinct. Hit me up. All right, I gotta go. Detective. Oh my god, I am dating two hot detectives. I'm more of a whore than Reggie. I cannot believe this is happening, okay? This is so humiliating. Your ex just said he's going to try to break the two of us up. He told you that. Well, not in so many words, but he strongly implied it. And forgive me for being nervous, but you said when he left you, it took you over a year to get over him. That's in the past, all right? And I'm with you now, so you have nothing to be worried about, all right? I know, I know. Just, I know, sometimes I... Oh my God. What? I think I just saw Cyril across the pool. Cyril? Yes, Cyril. Th that's impossible. Cyril's in prison. Is he? Do you remember that really mysterious Santa Claus? That he showed up out of the blue at our Christmas party last December. So fess up. Who are you? Ho, 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 ho. Don't give me any ho, 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 asshole. Okay? Who the hell are you? I've never told anybody this, but I'm almost certain that it was Cyril. Uh, Nelson, baby, that sounds a little crazy. Really? I know, I know. It is, it is. It just, whenever I hear you talking about your ex, it, it makes me kind of crazy. Well, when you get crazy, that's when we fight. So let's skip the fighting part and get to the part where we make out and, and make up and all the good stuff. I like that's, that. I like that. Okay. Too. Oh, hey, Harry Potter. Hey, what have you been? I've been good. How's Susie? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't care. She got arrested for sexual harassment. I'm county coroner now. My dancing days are over. Oh, come on. Once more for old time's sake. Uh, I think it's your turn now. Come on. Come on, show me some moves. Okay. Show me your monkey. Show me your <laughs> sexy, bouncing monkey. 
Oh yeah. It's like this. Sexy hot. Ooh. Yeah. Old school 80s. I love the 80s. Keep going. Oh yeah. What's going on? Someone got murdered inside the house. I gotta get in there. Oh my God, what is the deal with us and people getting murdered? Now, there does seem to be a pattern developing here. Well, at least we're out here. We can't be considered suspects. Where's Reggie? Ambulance got here too late, he's dead. It's a GSW to the stomach. Don't try to stop me. I just see if my friend's okay. Oh my God, Reggie. Reggie. Oh, oh thank God. I, I thought you were dead. Nelson, they think I did it. They think I shot Elliot. I'm only asking a few questions. Oh my God, this is like an episode of CSI. Only a really hot gay porn version. Dude. Uh, Reggie, what happened? Uh, I came in, I saw him lying on the floor. He'd been shot and he, he grabbed me and he, he whispered something in my ear. And then he just died. Did the victim say anything? Uh, Dumbo. Does Dumbo mean anything to you? Oh yeah, I had it one time in New Orleans over Mardi Gras. It was delicious. It's made with rice and shrimp and sausage. Not gumbo, you twit Dumbo. And I have no idea what it means. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to take you to the precinct for more questioning. What? Reggie, don't worry. They can't arrest you. They have nothing on you. You'll, you'll be back by happy hour. I hope the questioning doesn't last all night. Uh, yeah, I know. Poor Reggie. I mean, look at him. No, 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 no. Me and Detective Martinez, we're gonna hook up later. I was so nervous, I kept stammering. I know he thought I was acting suspicious. Reggie, you have nothing to worry about. You're totally innocent. Well, he was standing over the body. He's right, I was. Yeah, but Elliot Butler was shot and there was no gun found at the scene. He could have hit it before the detectives got there, and they just haven't found it yet. If they had anything on him, they would have arrested him, and they wouldn't have let him come home. Stop it. You know, they could be giving Reggie a false sense of security. You know, let him think he's off the hook, and then he slips up and they nail him. Shut up, Wood. You're upsetting him. No, Wood is right. This is not going to end well. I am going to prison for a crime I did not commit. Oh my God, I'm going to be the most popular inmate there. I mean, all those big hairy convicts are going to have sex with me. I'll get no writing done because of all the gangbangs in the shower, in my cell, in the laundry room. <sighs> Remind me again why I don't want to go to prison. Would you stop? This is serious. A prison rape isn't funny. Who said anything about rape? I'm totally willing. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get it. Uh, yeah, what was Elliot trying to say to you? Dumbo? What's it mean? Well, Dumbo, huh? Maybe he's trying to finger Wood as the killer. Did I just say that out loud? I'm sorry. I do that sometimes and I don't even know it. Excuse me. I don't know. I hate Disney cartoons. Well, except for Aladdin because Arab men make me so hard. <laughs> Are you saying you get sexually aroused by an animated character that's basically jailbait? Ooh. Not the kid with the magic carpet, the hot daddy who's chasing him around trying to kill him. Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those. Those are two interesting uh, pieces. And you like these? I, uh, I just did them the other week when I was, I found some paints, I was just messing around. Uh, this one's me and this one's you. I mean, this one's you and this one's me. So what do you think? <laughs> wow, it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> Who knew you had so much stuff? This is kind of great though, right? Because we're finally moving in together after all this time talking about it. So what do you think? Above the bed, dresser? Uh, above the bed. All right, you got it. That way I won't have to look at it while we're having sex. Only if you avoid certain positions. Oh, I'll get it. Those would haunt me in my sleep. Detective Winters, you're back. Call me Chad. I think we're way past the point of being formal. Detective Martinez, you know each other. 
We're partners. Partners? Wow. Partners. What a coincidence. I mean, partners, how cool. Can we come in? Uh, yeah, go on in. So I'm in the clear. You're not here to arrest me. No. The test we did on your hands came back negative. There's no gun residue and there's no way you could have shot him. Oh, thank God I'm not going away for 20 years for murder. No, you're not. What's up with you guys and dead bodies anyway? Excuse me, guys. Officers? Morning. I must say, you're looking particularly handsome today, Wood. Yeah, isn't he? He hasn't changed a bit. He looks just like he did back in 1998. I can't tell you how many times I jerked off to his picture in college. Yeah, me too, in high school. My mother could never figure out why we kept running out of Kleenex. Are you two here to brief us or to audition for Raging Stallion? Hey, look here, eyes here. Hey, hey you. Yeah, hey, did you figure out what Dumbo means? We were just discussing it. Yes, uh, we searched Elliot Butler's house and we found a very extensive Disney collection. I think Dumbo was probably his favorite movie. <sighs> Whose dying words are to tell everyone their favorite movie? That doesn't make any sense. Leave the investigating to the professionals, okay, Mr. Hatch? I think we're done here, for now. Yeah. Uh, thank you, officers. That was very informative. Not. Did you remember to get the Parmesan cheese? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Babe, was a nice spaghetti night was your idea. I just got home from an out-of-town case. I can't remember everything. I know, I know. Your mother's right. You're way too good for me. I am not relying on Crockett and Tubbs to solve Elliot's murder. I mean, come on, they can't even pick up the clues that they're both fooling around with wood. <sighs> Elliot was my friend, and I am gonna get to the bottom of this. Now, it's pretty obvious he had sex right before somebody shot him. How do you know that? He probably sniffed his penis before the cops showed up. Gross. I found this at the crime scene, so I slipped it in my pocket when the detective wasn't looking in case it might be an important clue and could clear my name if they charge me. Wait a minute. Isn't that evidence tamponing? You mean evidence tampering, Wood. And yes, it is. And it's illegal. I was facing murder charges, Nelson. Forgive me for being a little desperate. Well, what the hell is this thing, anyway? <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, everybody knows this is a titanium triple X limited edition ball stretcher that you can only get at the stock room. I didn't know that, did you? Of course. Oh, a titanium triple X limited edition ball stretcher, right? From the stock room? Yeah. Vanilla. Welcome to Stockroom, may I help you? Uh, yes, we were wondering if you might be able to tell us who bought this. It's a ball stretcher. Oh, I know very familiar with the inventory in Stockroom. I only work here part time to raise money for my church to go to Europe to visit famous cathedral. You couldn't have just applied for a job at Starbucks? Oh no, my uh, religion forbid me to be even near caffeine. But it's okay to work here? The store must keep sales records. I mean, would you mind if we take a quick peek? Oh no, I don't think the owner will approve. Well, we'd be happy to contribute to your trip, wouldn't we guys? Yeah. Would give her 20 bucks. Me? Why do I have to give her money? We know how much that stupid webcam show of yours makes. No more free rides, pair. Fine. There you go. <laughs> they keep a book in a uh, bag. Uh, so I take you there, but uh, only one can come. Um, the other two wait to see if Ona come. Okay, well, I'll go. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I don't know about that thing. It's ripped. Yeah, it, it feels pretty good. I've done that one before. I've done that. I've done that. 
That, yeah. What haven't you shoved up your ass? Seriously, why would anybody spend money on nipple clamps when you can buy clothespins for a fraction of the price at Costco? I don't get it. Reggie's sure been back there a long time. You know what? I'm going to go check on him. Well... Hi there. Uh, welcome to Stockroom. <laughs> you know, I, I don't really work here. You know, in fact, I've never even been to a store like this before ever. I, I don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I'm not a prude. I like sex and everything. It's just that... Shut up, bitch. Show us the butt plugs. Butt plugs. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, aisle three, I think. Reggie? Reggie? <sighs> what the hell are they doing back there? God. Guys? Come on, you guys. This isn't funny. Hey guys. Hey, church girl. Where's everybody? Mm -hmm. Reggie, is that you? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. What the fuck is going on here? Put this on. I thought I told you to wait outside. Get that shirt off. Do not disobey Mistress Lena, or you will get punished like your friends here. <sighs> Mistress Lena? Really? Hey, and uh, what's with the outfit and uh, the voice? <sighs> I can't believe that you fell for that meek Asian stereotype. It proves that you are a racist pig. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? Ow! Ow! Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, please, please stop. I will stop when I am ready to stop. Get down. Oh, don't worry, Sasquatch. I didn't forget about you. Oh, it's kind of like the wheel of fortune, isn't it? Except there's no fortune, and I get to zap your nutsack whenever I feel like it. <laughs> okay, okay. Does your church group know you talk like this? I mean, they probably don't like it. Did I say that you could speak? Get down! This has all been really very entertaining and strangely elaborate, actually. Yeah, I had no idea we were in for this. We're not into the whole BDSM thing, okay? You know what? We're just here for some information from your books. All right. How about this? Two of you can go look at my books if one of you will stay and take this. He'll do it. Okay, according to the records, there are only two titanium triple X limited edition ball stretchers sold in this store. Uh, the first one was to Betty White. Surely it's not the same one, right? And the second one was to Mo Kapoor, Elliot Butler's chief of staff. I knew it. I knew he was acting suspicious. You know what I think? I think Mo and Elliot were sexually involved and something went horribly wrong in the relationship and Mo killed him in a crime of passion. Well, what do you want to do, Nancy Boy Drew? We need to investigate him. Well, we know that obviously he was pretty kinky because of the ball stretcher and we also know he is into leather because look at all the stuff he's bought through the years. And where do all the leather queens go on a Friday night? Fall line. All right, let's head out. I feel like we're forgetting something. Hmm, -mm. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Ah, 
I look ridiculous. No, baby, you look fucking hot. And this gay rooster rubber queen thing is not happening. Fine, if you don't want to fit in. Well, I look fantastic in mine. Thank you, Wood, for getting these costumes for Mistress Lena. You're welcome. But I never want to see a power tool ever again. Three of us should fan out and see if we can find him. Got it. What about me? What do I do? Oh, you're hot. You're the best chance we have of getting a free round of drinks. Okay, go. Hey there, I was hoping to run into you. Oh, Kevin, right? Uh, Jeremy. Oh, close. So close, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I didn't get a chance to give you my phone number at the pool party the other day. Uh, well, I was a little distracted, you know, getting hauled off for questioning in another murder investigation. <laughs> really starting to become a habit. Yeah. I was wondering if you'd be interested in going out. Oh, yes. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> you know what? We can go around the corner to the mobile station in the back. Nobody will ever see us. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a date. Oh, well, there's a kebab card out front if you wanted to get something to eat first. Uh, uh, you know, you're a good guy. I like you, Reggie. I just don't think we should rush into anything, you know? I mean, I, I kind of want it to be special. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, I'm a little busy right now, but definitely call me. Well, wait, I, I didn't give you my number. Hello. Oh, whose hand is that? Two weeks ago, you wanted me to frisk you, turn into a hot game of reach around. Detective winners. Seriously? I've sucked your dick. It's Chad. You big hairball. You made my dick so hard. Whoa! There you go, partner. Wood. I don't know what you come to love tonight. I... I do? Wow, so what, you guys just sharing a beer after work? This, I don't feel awkward at all. Can I have a beer? Any luck? No, and I'm chafing. Hey, who was that guy? He's kind of cute. Oh, uh, Jeffrey? No, wait, Jimmy? Uh, who cares? He's one of those. One of what? You know, one of those mushy, annoying, I don't want to have sex till the third date kind of guys. Please, he's practically a lesbian. Who's got time for that? Moving on. Why are you so turned off by anybody who wants more than sex? Nelson, can we skip the whole Reggie or so shallow speech, please? We're here on a mission. Uh, okay, fine. I won't say anymore. Besides, he works for a nonprofit, and we both know what that means. What? We go on a romantic weekend getaway, we're flying coach. Hey, hey, that's him. Yeah, Mo Kapoor. Come on, let's go. What do you two want? We want to ask you a few questions about your relationship with Elliot Butler. Oh, is it? I'd like a blowjob from the hairy hunk manning the door, but we don't always get what we want, does we? Now move. We're not going anywhere. Oh, I think you are. Meet my friend, Bert and Ernie. The name theme. It's just a coincidence, really. They met last week at a circle jerk. <laughs> Oof. Be gentle, boys. Uh, we were just leaving. Yeah. Really? Oh! You guys got a problem? No small fry, you have the problem. Oh! oh wait! Back up, back up, back up! Jesus! Get the fuck out of here. Okay, uh, that was really... Brave? No, scary. Don't get me wrong, Todd. I appreciate you swooping in and rescuing us, but 
But what? Well, I hate to mention it after all this time, but do you remember when we were in Palm Springs and I thought you were a killer and I bashed you over the head with my laptop? Yeah, it's kind of hard to forget it. In fact, the Dutch said I might have short term memory loss because of that. Well, during our argument, you said something about two aggravated assault charges. And I was wondering if maybe after all this time, you might want to elaborate a little bit on that. I'd rather just leave it in the past where it belongs, if you don't mind. And I totally respect your wishes. I do. But you're going to ask anyway. Yeah. All right. You know what? I grew up in South Philly. I had uncles in the family. I was in a gang and things happened. All right. I know what the inside of a jail cell looks like. Not proud of that, but it's behind me now and I've moved on. You were in a gang? So what? Matt Damon and Ben Affleck ran around in a Boston gang, and now they're both Academy Award winners. Well, you know, I actually do kind of get it. I mean, hey, I was in a gang, too, in high school. Oh, please. West Side Story doesn't count. Yep. Yeah, the Sharks or the Jets. Come on. Jets. Yeah, I knew it. But is that... Are you satisfied? Are you, are you still freaked out? No, no, I'm not freaked out, really. I'm fine. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to use the bathroom, if you don't mind. I'm freaked out. Oh, God, here he comes again. You deal with him. What? What do you want me to say to him? I'm, uh, what? Hey there. Hey. I uh, got a drink for your friend Reggie. Is he coming back? I Probably not, but you know what? I'm not going to let this go to waste. <laughs> I saw your boyfriend come to your aid just now. Oh, who, Jason Bourne? <laughs> That's what I want. You know, someone to watch out for me. Hey, look, you seem like a really sweet guy. He may come around, just needs a little time. Yeah. But you know what? Don't put a timetable on it. Because he's kind of hoary. I should probably tell you that I'm sort of seeing someone and what it's okay i'm not looking to get married no street attaches is fine oh, that's such a relief because i'm not into getting tied up either reggie sure is you're so fucking cute hey guys i got some shots thank you i should warn you when i do shots i start to act really stupid but people who know me say they don't notice much of a change <laughs> Moser all the time. Lately, he's been hanging out with this hot muscle dude. Are they dating? I don't think so, but every time they come in, they don't even drink. Usually, they have the corner right over there, and when people pass by, they stop talking. Like, they, they don't want anyone to hear. Do you know who this muscle guy is? I don't know his name, but I think he's some sort of, like, personal trainer. And I saw him here earlier tonight. Ooh, can you point him out to me? Um, I don't see him. But you can't miss him. I mean, he's this hot, black guy, ripped muscles. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Decoding Jesus. Oh, by the way, do you take requests? Yeah, sure. Good. I saw some lube by the doors. I came in. I'll find your last call. Whoa, 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 come on, baby, baby, slow down a little bit. Hey, why is you so bossy? I'm guessing this has something to do with what I just told you about my past, right? So what, are you going to be scared of me now? I'm not scared of you, Todd. Yeah. I'm scared, I'm scared of him. Who? Yeah, it's Daryl. He's right over there. Okay, you know what? No more for you. You're cut hey. off. You're cut off. I swear, I just I saw it just a second ago, right over there. Uh, well, you need something other than alcohol, so I'm gonna get you some I water. Don't you stay right need here. Need anything without alcohol? Will you do Hey. Hey, sexy. What can I get you? Can I get two waters? My boyfriend's fucked up. Well, well, well. I finally got you alone. Oh, Ivan. 
What are you doing here? I didn't know you hung out at the fault line. I don't, but I heard you do, handsome. Mm-hmm, okay. I'm not in this action. Bad boy. Hey, hey, okay. According to the DJ, Mo has been having some kind of secret meetings with a hot black muscle dude. I know why you're so determined to solve this murder. You do? Yeah, you just want another book deal. You're drunk. <laughs> Okay, you solve the mystery of my slurred speech. You're a regular faggot the Christie. Okay, where's Todd? He needs to take you home. I don't know, he's over there getting... Ow, oh, how the fuck no! You think that a casting your ex-boyfriend? You think he's sexy? Shut <laughs> up! I'll show him, okay? I'll show him who's sexy. Nelson, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. Nelson. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. There he is. Mm-hmm. I'll show him. I'll show him who's sexy. Excuse me. I'd like to have a word with you, please. No, if I do. Well, you're not my type either. Well, actually you are, but rejection makes me very defensive. I want to know about you and Mo Kapoor. Whoa, I am not done talking to you yet. No oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I'm good, I'm good. Thanks. Bye. I'll keep it. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. I just don't know what you see in him! Look, I, I, you might not understand, but Nelson is a really special person. You get out of here, cutie. Yeah, you go on here. There we go, people. You want to see sexy? Yeah! Yeah, yeah special needs, maybe. Thanks, Todd. Cyril. Miss me? How did you get out? They gave you 20 years. You have no idea what it's like on the inside, Nelson. They tell you when to eat. They tell you when to sleep. They tell you when to shower. It's all very... Emasculating. Well, there must have been a bright side. I hear they have an excellent arts and crafts program. You could have learned a skill, Cyril. Think about your future. I was just a number with no balls. Now it's time to return the favor. What? Oh, God, no. 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 Ah! Baby, 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 come down, come down. What's wrong? Are you okay? It was Cyril. Somehow, he escaped. He was trying to kill me again. Well, maybe it was just a dream, okay? You're fine. And Cyril's locked up and will never hurt you again, I promise, okay? Trust me, you won't get it. Oh, come on. Tell me. I mean, if you guys get it, I'll get it. We were talking about the Octa Mountain Tango. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a sexual position. 
Well, well what is it? Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> well, try me. I mean, I'm feeling kind of horny. Why don't you uh, take me into the bedroom and teach it to me? <laughs> <laughs> are you done? Boy, you three sure are getting along. I uh, thought there might be a period of adjustment with Todd moving in, but you three seem to be getting along famously. Good for you. Hey, what is wrong with you today? Uh, he's fine. It's just uh, maybe in a bit of a mood. Having a bad dream last night about Cyril breaking out of prison, coming after him, cutting off his balls. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. Well, it's impossible. Yeah, if he was going to kill you, he would have showed up last Christmas when he escaped. What are you talking about? What? Come on, everybody knows that Cyril busted out of prison. What do you mean, busted out of prison? Did I tell you? Cyril busted out of prison last December, right around Christmas. Wait, wait a minute. If Cyril had escaped from prison, it would have been all over the news. Yeah, you? it was. But uh, last December, I forgot to pay our cable bill. So, you know, we didn't have the internet or cable for, like, I don't know, until Valentine's Day? Oh, come on, Wood. <laughs> Somebody would have contacted me and tried to warn me. Oh, yeah. The district attorney sent a letter over, like, immediately after it happened. I put it with the rest of your mail in the, in the drawer. What drawer? What, what mail? What, here? Yeah. What are you talking about? What? Oh, my God. Look at all this mail. This is all mail on my way. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. This is not happening! Hey baby, just calm down. Calm down? Oh, come on! That, that serial killer who tried to stop my heart with a giant needle has escaped from the penitentiary! Don't tell me to calm down, Todd! Did you know about this? No! <laughs> oh, Wood! I cannot believe that you didn't tell me about this, you imbecile! Oh, no. What? No. Let me out! You're the one who told me not to pile up your mail on your desk because it was unsightly. It's not my fault you don't check your mail drawer. That's because you never told me there was a mail drawer. God, you are so fucking stupid. So he's out. He's really out. And I'm a dead man. There would be no other reason for him to come to town unless he were trying to kill me. Hey, 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 you. What's that face? What's that look? What? What's that look? What look? Uh, yeah, that, that look. I know that look. Uh, there's no look. You know something, don't you? No, I don't. Yes, you no, do. No, I don't. Yes. No. What do you know? Hey, when you went to that prison to interview Cyril for that book of yours about the murder, did something happen? Of course not. I am a professional, Nelson. Reggie. Five more minutes. Well, I'm pretty much out of questions. Any thoughts what we can do for the last five minutes? God! How could you do that to me? It was a moment of weakness. You know how I get around swarthy men with facial hair. What was I supposed to do? Oh, my God. So, so I, I'm not crazy. I have been seeing Cyril everywhere. He's here. He's in Los Angeles. God! I guess I have to, uh, call the police and tell them that I'm being stalked by Cyril. Or I could just talk to a cop that comes out of Wood's bedroom in his underwear. Morning. Hey. I just got a call from Marcus. Whatever he said, I deny it. Uh, uh, detective. Mo Kapoor was picked up for questioning. He admitted that the ball stretcher was purchased by him, but he claims he bought it for his boss, Elliot Butler, who needed to be discreet because he's running for office. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's Mo not important. is lying. I'm afraid not. Kapoor was talking to about a dozen reporters at the time of the murder, so you see, he couldn't have been the one to shoot Elliot. Hey, are you just going to sit here, or are we going to go try that Octomount Tango again? You know, I'll be there in a minute, all right? I'm going to do a little stretching. But, Detective, I, I really need to talk to you. It's important. Please, Detective. God, God, my God. What are we going to do about Cyril? And what is this Octo Mount Tango butt fucking position that I've never heard of? Well, we can look it up later and I'll show you. We can try it if you want, but just sit down, okay? Relax. Come here. All right. Todd is right. Forget Cyril. He's harmless. Uh, yeah, right. No, I talked to a psychiatrist at the prison. He's completely rehabilitated. And you know what? The police are going to pick him up any day now. You don't know that. Hey, and how do you know that it wasn't Cyril who killed Elliot? Because it's Mo. And you know what I think? I don't think it was a crime of passion. I think it was premeditated, and Mo hired somebody to do the job for him. Like that muscle guy from the fault line. 
What? We don't even know his name. How are we going to find him? Beats me. I mean, all we really know about him, he's a personal trainer, and he's fond of wearing tank tops with a big A on it. That That's Asylum Gym. Th uh, that's their logo. It's just an A. Uh, that must be where he works out or trains people. Well, there you go. We've got a clue. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean we actually have to work out? <sighs> no, hey. fuck that. Anybody want to volunteer to be the spotter? Oh, my God. I am so sore. I can't believe we worked out of the gym all day waiting for that trainer and he was a no-show. You sat at the juice bar the whole time. Okay, yeah, but those stools are really uncomfortable, Reggie. I got a glute cramp. Well, at least I worked out for an hour with a dumbbell. Hey, I thought we agreed. No more calling me names in public. Well, hang on, guys. According to the manager, his name was Turbo, and he quit his job a week ago to focus on high-end clients. And he moved recently, so they didn't have an address for him anymore. We're never going to find him! Easy, Spaz. He also said that he's a workout buddy who could tell us how to find him, and that guy comes here every night after the gym for a protein shake. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's why you brought us here? I thought we came here to eat. I'm starving. <sighs> Wild guess. Do you think that might be him? Sure, you can go over there and ask him and look like a fool if you're wrong. I'll risk it. <laughs> He's such an idiot. Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh my God, look at them flirting. <laughs> I knew Todd wanted an open relationship. They're just talking. This is about Todd's ex, Ivan, isn't it? You feel threatened by him. I do not feel threatened. I don't. I don't feel threatened. We can tell when you're lying. You repeat yourself. I do not repeat myself. I don't. I do not repeat myself. He just repeated himself. <laughs> oh, hell no, Juice Queen. Nelson, stop. Nelson. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, for your information... This is my boyfriend. Yeah, you heard that right. My boyfriend. So back off, bitch. Chuck here was just about to tell us how to get a hold of Turbo. Yeah, keyword was, but I don't need all your drama. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, so you're not going to help us? Oh, honey, help you? I just don't have time for this. I'm not a miracle worker for Larry, Mo, and Tubby. Oh, no, he didn't. Why don't you guys go check out my diet and nutrition exercise videos on YouTube, Body by Chuck? Over 80,000 views and counting. That'll help you get started. Would you like to order something? Well, sure. I mean, we might as well look at the dessert menu, right, guys? I mean, don't you judge me, Brutus. Can you at least give us his cell phone number so we can call him? I don't have it. He changed it. We had a falling out ever since he poached one of my clients. Well, what about giving us the client's name so we can track him down that way? Well, I would, but this one keeps pissing me off. Okay, you know what? We're out of here. All right? Yeah, he's not going to give us anything. He's not even going to budge. <clears throat> Uh, uh, this, I, I didn't order this. This isn't mine. This, this isn't mine. <laughs> you're the only customer in the restaurant. Busted. <laughs> I wonder how your YouTube viewer's going to feel to find out that their fitness guru is a junk food whore. <laughs> Just like you, Reggie. What? You love junk food and you're a whore. What a fraud. Body by Chuck. Yeah, more like body by up Chuck. <laughs> Yeah. You tell everybody. All right, all right, all right, you win, you win. Mary Ashley Pendleton. Who's that? She's my former client, the one that Turbo stole from me. Her husband's running for city council. Oh, Danny Pendleton, the man Elliot was running against. <gasps> I bet he did it. Well, no, he wasn't at the pool party fundraiser. He couldn't have done it. Wait a minute. So Turbo knows both Mo Kapoor and Danny Pendleton's wife? That's a bit of a coincidence, don't you think? Exactly. And what if Mary Ashley would be willing to do anything to ensure her husband won the election, including commit murder? You're right. We should totally check her out. All right. Are we done? Are we good here? Is this enough? And not a word about what you saw here tonight, okay? So just beat it. 
Next up, you, you could say. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, come on, let's go. Hey, hey, you. That's my boyfriend, okay? Yeah, no need to be so paranoid. If there's one thing I'm not, it's paranoid. Okay. I'm not. I am not paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't breathe! <laughs> Shrimp puff. Is it good? Shrimp puff. Sir, would you like a shrimp puff? Ooh, yummy. Who are you supposed to be here as? Myself. We were supposed to come up with covers so we would be inconspicuous. I am a literary celebrity now, Nelson. Do you know how easy it was for me to snag an invite to this fundraiser? Well, then why couldn't you have just invited me as a friend instead of me having to get a job as a cater waiter? Every spy will tell you, when working undercover, it's always best to choose something that comes natural to you. For me, it's rubbing elbows with fellow artists and industry people. And for you, it's serving shrimp puffs to people who are always going to be more successful than you. Hey, guys, we're here. Ooh, wooden totter here. We're the Jacksons. Oh, I'll just go right in. Well, thank, you. thank you. You're welcome. Howdy. Names, please. Oh, names? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Um, I am uh, Billy Joe Stetson from Dallas, Texas. Uh, but we just moved to the district so we can vote. Yeah. Oh, and here, this is my little brother and business partner, Festus. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I do not see your name on this list. Oh, well, that's because my brother and I just caught wind of this hair fundraiser. And seeing as how we are new in town and seeking to expand our enterprises, we decided to stop by and donate generously to Mr. Pendleton's campaign. Mm -hmm. Very generously, if you get my drift, little filly. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to have to show me something. Uh, how about 20 somethings? Mm -hmm. Go ahead in. need to get my nails done anyway. Thank you. Mm hmm. Oh, where did you get these earpieces, by the way, to, to, to communicate with? I made friends with a couple of Homeland Security guys last year when they had me under surveillance because I was dating that Saudi prince I met at the New Year's Eve party in Dubai. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're, you're on Homeland Security's radar? Radar? Please, with the number of Arab men I've slept with, I'm on a watch list. You do realize I no longer know when you're kidding, right? You get that? You know what? I probably shouldn't be seen talking to the help. Shrimp puff? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Billy Joe. And, uh, Festus, is it? That's right, sir. I'm Mary Ashley Pendleton, the candidate's wife. Bingo! Hello, Mary Ashley Pendleton, right here in front of me. You don't have to yell, you moron. Oh, right. Sorry, Nelson. Uh, am I missing something? Who's Nelson? For the love of God, what? Shut up! You shut up. I beg your pardon. We are just plum thrilled to be here this evening, and we are very impressed with you as a candidate, sir. And uh, uh, I think before the evening's out, we'd like to show you just how impressed we are by writing a very large check for your campaign. Well, that is mighty kind of you. I appreciate any help you can give my campaign. <laughs> uh, would y'all excuse me for a moment? I have to go say hi to a buddy of mine, but uh, stick around. I'd like to get to know y'all a little better. <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> Teresa over there mentioned that you two gentlemen are from Dallas. Well, I'm originally from Dallas. What area did y'all grow up in? Uh, we had us a little ranch. You know. Where about? Uh, right near JR and Sue Ellen. He means near where they filmed J.R. and Sue in Dallas, of course. Now, ma'am, before we contribute to the campaign, 
Would it be possible to find out just a, just a little more about yourself and your husband? Oh, of course. I'm an open book. My name is Mary Ashley Pendleton. I'm 43 years old and I'm from the great state of Texas. I love cooking, scuba, and macrame. And I want to be Miss America so I can raise awareness of the dangers of anorexia. I used to do pageants and that was my opening introduction in my platform. So charming, how could they resist? I sang Wind Beneath My Wings for the talent fortune and some bitch from Maine beat me out with ventriloquism. You could see her lips move. Uh, ma Ma'am, how do you and your husband feel about the uh, untimely death, murder of Elliot Butler? Oh, of course, it was a terrible tragedy. Yes, I was visiting my sister in Lubbock when I heard the news. Bless his heart, I hope they find his killer. But, fellas, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not really disappointed that God chose to eliminate one of my husband's strongest opponents. One less person to run against, I suppose. Well, God works in mysterious ways, you know. I think it maybe it was the Lord's will. Elliot Butler was a homosexual. Wow. Yes. The Bible is very clear on such matters. It's an abomination. So you were glad he's dead. Don't get carried away, Wood. Oh, right. Sorry, Nelson. Well, I'm sorry. Now, who's Nelson? Uh, he means me. I, I, I'm his brother. I'm, I'm Nelson. Nice save, Todd. Thank you. For what? I knew we should have rehearsed with these earpieces before we came here. Oh, um, uh, oh, Todd here is my brother and my business partner. Wait a minute. I thought you said his name was Nelson. No, actually, you said his name was Fistus. Hey, little brother, why don't you go get us some grub and maybe a couple drinks well, for me and the young lady? That sounds like a super idea, big brother. Ma'am? Ask her about Turbo. Well, I just might say you have a mighty fine body there, little lady. Um, really nice rack also. Just uh, one of my favorite parts of a woman. Uh, anyway, I was just wondering, how do you keep yourself in such good shape? You have yourself one of them Hollywood trainers? Well, I did have a trainer, but I had to fire him. It turned out he was a homosexual, too. No. I know we're in Los Angeles, but for God's sake, is everybody gay now? Well, I appreciate you wanting to contribute to my campaign. What do you say uh, we get a hotel suite downtown? You no, know, discuss this more probably. Is he hitting on my man? Abort! Abort the mission! Nelson is losing it! I, oh, I've not seen you. I'm flattered, but I just don't really go in for the whole gay sex thing. Now explain that to the papers. Do it. Do it. Give me a hand. Oh, Trust me, look. It looks exactly like one. Like it did when I was 12, right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. So what do you guys want to watch for movie night? Mmm. Sci-fi. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I've been jonesing for sci-fi ever since we went downtown the other weekend and saw the building where they shot Blade Runner. That was so awesome. Exactly. I love our group outings. Ugh, oh, that reminds me. I can't do our Pinkberry run tomorrow. What the hell is this? You guys are going on group outings together? What about me? Well... You're always cleaning. And you said I was supposed to bond with these guys, so I'm bonding. I said I wanted you to bond, not become the human centipede. We weren't trying to exclude you from anything. So what would you like to watch tonight? Oh, I get to pick? <laughs> okay. Well, hey, how about that devastating new documentary about being bipolar? That doesn't even make any sense. What, what kind of bear swings both ways? <sighs> it's not about bears, you nitwit. Bipolar is a disorder, okay? It's a mental disorder, and I think maybe you've got one. Oh, who cares? It sounds like a complete downer. Forget it. I got it. 
Prometheus. <gasps> yes, I love yes. Prometheus. Yes. Score done. Prometheus. Boom, yeah. So what are you watching? Prometheus. Oh, I love that movie. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Let me go. Let me go put a shirt on. No, 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 no. That would be oh. a really bad idea. Okay. I'll go get the popcorn. Jeremy, what a surprise. Well, you invited me. Hey, guys, look, look, it's Jeremy. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Reggie, look who's here. It's, a, it's adorable Jeremy. He's having to swing by. Hey, so uh, we're doing the movie night, so go ahead and have a seat. Okay. okay. What a, where, how'd you know where we live? It's okay. Oh, you know what? I think I might have told him the address at the pool part. What? Get over here. What? What the hell do you think you're doing? Come on, give him a chance. He's a quality guy and he's hot. I am not your project, Nelson. I have zero interest in you fixing me up with a boyfriend. Uh, Fine, but he's here already, so try and be nice. (sighs) Fine. 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 Can I squeeze it? Sure. All right. Yeah. Prometheus. Uh, Mm -hmm. So... uh, are you ready, comfy? Mm. And, okay, we're just gonna turn that up just a little So what'd you think, baby? Well, I, uh... I like the movie, I mean, it was okay, but gosh, the volume, did you have to have it so loud? <laughs> No, it's part of the experience. <laughs> yeah, you like it loud. Mm-hmm. I just love discovering all your little quirks the more time we spend together. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, all right. mm-hmm. I think I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll clean up. <clears throat> oh, God, I am so tired. I better get to bed. I have to be at the office really, really early tomorrow morning. Office? What office? You work from home. You're a writer. You know, I, I should go. Let me show you the door. Okay. Hey, look. I know you didn't expect me here tonight, and I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable, but I had a really good time. Me too. It's just no, that... I know, I know you're, you're not looking for anything serious, but... I like you, Reggie. And if all we can be is good friends, I'll take it. (laughs) Good night, Jeremy. Now, don't be mad, okay? I can pick my own boyfriends, Nelson. Now, if your little matchmaking mission is over, I have an idea what to do next about Elliot Butler's murder. What? I thought we were at a dead end with that. I mean, we know Mary Ashley couldn't have done it because she was in Texas the weekend of the murder. And we know that she wasn't working with Turbo because she fired Turbo because she found out he was gay. All the president's men. Wait, what? Uh. He wouldn't know what that is. I mean, what, if it's not on Nickelodeon, he'd say, forget it. He's never heard of it. <laughs> you mean the 1976 Best Picture nominee with Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford about the Watergate break-in? No, I don't know about that. What's that? Tell me about that. Okay, I stand corrected. Thank you. Chill, pumpkin. What does any of this have to do with Elliot Butler's murder? Maybe we got it backward. Maybe Danny is sleeping with Turbo and seduced him into shooting Elliot so he'd have nobody running against him. Yeah, but what does any of this have to do with all the president's men? Well, we're going to break into Danny Pendleton's campaign headquarters and look around and uncover evidence that might connect him to the murder. No, 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 no. Just hearing that makes me nervous, okay? And you know what happens to me when I get nervous. Yeah, you get explosive diarrhea and we all have to leave the house for a few hours. (laughs) Not that. When I get nervous, I have to clean. Like uh, this uh, lovely art piece. I love the new piece, Todd. It's really, it's really great addition to the living room. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, I like it too. We forgot to make a lube run. Can we use this? Sure. Cool. We're not having chicken tonight. No. 
This was a really dumb idea, Nelson. Who's going to buy me as part of a cleaning crew? I told you, I'm famous now. One interview about your book for a 12-year-old's blog in Fargo, North Dakota does not make you a household name, Reggie. <sighs> well, what about me? I'm a famous model. I hate to tell you this, Wood, but the only magazine cover you could book right now is for Gay ARP. Ouch. Oh, okay. I'm the trained actor. Let me handle this. Can I help you? Hey there, how you doing? Uh, we're from Acme Janitorial. We're here to clean the office. Wait a minute. You guys usually come on Tuesdays. Yeah, but uh, uh, we heard there's a big fucking mess back there, didn't we guys, huh? Eh? Yeah, 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 we gotta clean the office tonight. What is this, Goodfellas? I didn't know we were doing accents. We're here to clean the floors! Why are you doing a girl? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not clear to let you in. We get it. You can never be too careful. By the way, I am totally open to a thorough strip search if you'd like. I didn't catch your name. Charlie. Well, Charlie, it just so happens I have this thing for a man in uniform. Well, that's too bad because I'm dying to take it off. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't let you through. Look here, asshole. You better let us get back there to clean that fucking office because it's going to be your butt that gets canned and not ours. Yeah, it's going to be your butt. What? All right, just go ahead. Go on in. Yeah, it's more like it. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Uh, my job? We're here to look for clues. Put the mop away. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you even know how to use a mop. When it comes to cleaning at home, you're completely useless. Hey, I hired a housekeeper with my book money, but you said he made you uncomfortable. He was cleaning our house in the nude. That was part of the service. I paid extra for that. Well, I'm sorry, but it was pretty gross staring at his sausage while I was eating mine at the breakfast table. I miss him. You know, I used to go around the house and collect all the dust balls that I could find, and then I'd put them under my bed, right? Then I'd go get him and I'd point him out, so he'd have to get down on all fours with a Swiffer, and he'd have the most perfect view of his... Holy cow, Wood, knock it off. We get it, okay? <gasps> hey, Danny Pendleton's personal drawer. Like, help me open it. Okay. okay. Is it locked? Yes, it's locked. Yes. What do we do? Wait, well, let's pull, let's right, pull on well, three. Well, I'm, I'm going to pull your arm, okay? Okay. okay. okay ready? One... Two. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, we're we're we're, we're doing yoga, right, guys? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why we're on the ground. Namaste. Oh. Do that uh, downward dog move. Yeah. Woof. Woof. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Do that that warrior princess move. The warrior Look princess. At that. Look how relaxing that is, Charlie. Ooh, oh, it's so oh, good. Man. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, you should try yoga, Charlie. It's a great stress reliever. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> okay. All right, yoga breaks over. Oh, okay? Man. Yeah, back to work. Oh, come yeah. on. Yeah. It's always too short. Yeah, I know, but it's healthy. It relieves the okay. stress and all that. He bought it. He bought it. He bought it. Okay, now we need to separate and look for clues. Okay, okay. 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 Stop, stop. You go there. You go there. I'll go there. Fine. Hey, I found Danny Pendleton's office. Come on. All right, come on. Okay. Hey, Danny wrote down Turbo's home address in his book of contacts. Now, why would you need your personal trainer's home address unless there's something more to the relationship? Well, that doesn't necessarily prove that... That doesn't necessarily prove they were sleeping together. Well, they had to do it somewhere. They couldn't do it at his place, and he's too smart to risk Mary Ashley coming across a hotel credit card receipt. Wood, take a picture. Oh, okay. 
Not of us. Take a picture of the address, you numbskull. What? You don't work out enough that you'd need a personal trainer. He doesn't need a personal trainer. He needs you to take a picture of the address so you can give it to the detectives so they can call him in for questioning, you boob. All right, okay. You know what? I will just use my photogenic mind to memorize the address. <laughs> Why don't we uh, snap a picture? Just to be sure, okay? Fine. I mean, it's a complete waste of time, but, you know, I don't want to. Shut up. You know, I'm betting they can put enough pressure on Turbo to get him to confess that his lover Danny got him to do his dirty work. <gasps> he has a safe! <gasps> hey, hey, you're never going to be able to open that. No, no, no. Besides having a photogenic mind, I can also crack a safe. We're not here to crack safes. We need to get the hell out of here. One second. And, voila. Oh, dear God. Come on! Free! <gasps> here if you hadn't done that cheesy accent. It's not an accent. It's a dialect, and I studied them for years. What's the dialect you normally use? Nelly? You know, I was a little disappointed in the cavity search. I thought it would be more invasive, you know, sexier. Yeah, Reggie. There's nothing more romantic than getting fingered by Roshonda, the night duty officer with an attitude. And way too long nails, if you ask me. Well, thank God I got a male cop. I can't imagine a woman sticking her finger up my ass. Ooh, unless it's some sort of three-way and I get to do her hot Lebanese husband afterward like I did on that part of your auto cruise. God, I hate this! You know, they say that prison changes a man. Well, I can feel it! I'm changing already! Nelson, we've been here ten minutes. You don't understand. This is my worst nightmare. My innocence forever lost to the harsh conditions of prison life. Abused and yelled at by the screws. Shaken down by one bully after another out in the yard. Eating warmed over slop at a corner table in the cafeteria trying not to make eye contact with anybody. Oh my god. It's gonna be like high school all over again. I can't take it! Oh god! <laughs> god, I hope we're in separate cells. Wood, did you talk to Detective Winters? Is he coming down here to spring us? I got his voicemail, but I left him a message. Well, did you tell him it was an emergency and that we've been arrested and we need his help ASAP? No, I just told him to call me back in my cell. Which was confiscated when we were arrested and is locked up in a drawer in the booking room. Oh, I didn't think of that. Well, Detective Winters said the only reason he wouldn't pick up is if he was on a big case. Love stakeouts. So do I. Hey, hey, you. Yeah, officer, come here. Yeah, I want to try and call my boyfriend again. Well, look, you've already had your one phone call. It's not my fault that your boyfriend doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> you know nothing about my deeply loving and committed relationship. God, the nerve of that guy. Nelson, God. calm down. Calm down? You want me to be calm? This is all your fault. My fault? Yeah, if you weren't such a fame whore and so desperate to sell another one of your true crime books, we wouldn't be here. You know, your bad choices are going to get us all killed eventually. Bad choices? What are you talking about? You made out with a serial killer who tried to murder me. If that's not a bad choice, I don't know what is. Oh, are you supposed to be my role model, Nelson? Am I supposed to look to you when it comes to healthy relationships? Oh my God, ever since you and Todd have been together, you have been a bundle of nerves waiting for it to blow up in your face, afraid that he's going to leave you for someone else. You are this close to blowing the entire thing. Guys, can we stop focusing on your dysfunctional relationships and try to think about how we're going to get out of here? <laughs> Dysfunctional relationships? Yeah. 
coming from the man who's bed hopping with two hot cops who have no clue you're banging the other. Ixnay on the opske. Let go of me. Oh my God, my God. Wood, wood, where is wood? Where is wood? I need wood and I need wood now. Oh, oh. wood, 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 wood. Oh. Hit the road, tramp. Oh, Wood, I've been a bundle of nerves since you called. Are you okay? Are they mistreating you at all? Because if they are, I want to know all the details. Oh, dear God, it's the eighth dwarf, Sleazy. What's he doing here? Well, when Detective Winters didn't pick up, the officer was nice enough to let me make another call, so I called George. Well, how come I didn't get two phone calls? You just have to know how to talk nicely to him. And getting down on your knees doesn't hurt either. He made you beg? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Oh, God. Oh, get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you two think you're going? We've been bailed out. Sorry, Princess. He only bailed out your friend here. You two are staying. Oh, come on, George. Oh, what the fuck? On? I'm a little cash poor right now. My dental practice is experiencing some severe financial setbacks, all due to a few frivolous lawsuits. It seems that a few of my more attractive male patients, 26 if you have to know. Let me guess, they're suing you for groping them while you had them under anesthesia. Oh, it's completely ridiculous. They were totally knocked out. I mean, how could they possibly remember anything? Don't worry, Nelson. I will bail you guys out. I'll just need your debit card and PIN number, because I'm broke. Great idea, Wood. I'll just get it from my wallet, which was confiscated when we were arrested, and it's in a drawer in the booking room. Okay, don't worry. I'll think of something. Oh, my God. We're never getting out of here. I know. I, know. <laughs> I, I, I gotta escape. Just run. Run, run, run. <laughs> this way, cupcakes. Please. Oh, I'll do anything. You've already sucked my cock twice. I've got no use for you. There's got to be something I can do. Get your hands off my boyfriend. I'll come in there and rip your goddamn head off. And see. Oh, hey, babe. Baby, you all right? Yeah, we're just doing a little improv. Yeah, turns out Curtis here is an aspiring actor. Great job, Curtis. Wow, he had some really nice moments there. Yeah, you were totally convincing as the dangerous criminal. Well, I have had some experience. Held up four liquor stores, and I shot my cousin last year. So you're giving acting lessons behind bars now? Yeah. Yeah, Curtis and I decided to actually set our scene in jail. Uh, you know, I mean, how many more opportunities are we going to have to act in such a realistic setting? Well, I guess Curtis may have a few more opportunities, given your record, right, Curtis? <laughs> you cracked me up, Nelson. <laughs> okay, Curtis, you take care. I am going to miss you, buddy. Hey, hey, and don't you ever give up on your dream. You will play Danny Zuko. Okay. See you later. <laughs> oh, Todd. Hi, oh, baby. God. Oh. This night in jail has been so personally rewarding. I got Casper and little Snoopy to quit their gang on the spot. And I talked Butch the skinhead into leaving Aryan Nations and enrolling in Second City. Oh, it's like the L.A. County Jail of Dramatic Arts. Well, where's Reggie? Uh, there. Jesus. You know, he's only closing his eyes because he's pretending that he picked the guy up at the Eagle and not in the showers. Hey, Reggie, you posted bail. It's time to go. Is leaving absolutely mandatory? Let's go. Find me on Facebook and promise me you won't shank anyone and lose computer privileges. I promise. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. You know, I think he could be the one. He's going to introduce me to his family if he gets acquitted. They have a trailer in Barstow. They're chemists. And you see I make bad choices. Let's go. Okay. What are you looking at? There's no paper! Yes, finally. 
freedom. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sorry it took so long to get the message last night, guys. You said you were just going out for a minute. I didn't expect you to end up in freaking jail. Oh, well, no problem. It gave me time to work up the nerve to start a conversation with Axel. Uh, face tattoos are my new go-to topic. I had no idea what those tears meant. Hey, hey, where were you anyway? Look, don't freak out, baby. All right, I was with Ivan. Ivan! Look, he called the second you were out the door, and it just sounded like he was in a really bad place. <laughs> a bad place? Where do you think I was? Uh, the Sandals Resort? I was this close to having to toss Little Orphan Tranny salad. You got a meal? I didn't get a meal. Is there some kind of jail upgrade program that I'm not aware of? Jesus. Look, I just wanted to make sure he was okay. And it turns out, ever since seeing me at the pool party, he's had a lot of unresolved feelings about our breakup and relationship and... It was just really intense, all right? It wasn't a fun night. He was crying and begging for me to give him a second chance. He can be a little dramatic and over the top sometimes. Why would you be stupid enough to date someone like that? Anyway, did you tell him that you can't get back together with him because you have a boyfriend? Of course I did, baby. Look, I love you. Even if you do have to wear a Darth Vader mask to sleep at night, you're my man. Oh, that is the sweetest thing I think you've ever said to me. But you know what? You might want to still change your email address and your phone number just so there's no further contact with Ivan. Hey, where's Wood? I don't know. He wasn't here when I got home last night. Oh, hello. Hello, George. Is Wood here? I know, yes, he is, but he's just a little bit indisposed right now. Come back next month. Yeah, I don't think so. We're coming through, Tooth Fairy. But this is a private residence. Oh my god, what the? Wood! Wood, what? Wood! Are you okay? This is not what it looks like. Okay, um. Why are his pants down? And, and why is he hooked up to this machine? And what is that stupid expression on his face? Oh, aren't you just a little old to be so naive? We call that afterglow. Whoa, are you saying you and Wood? Yeah, and I'll be sending someone for his things right after the honeymoon in Branson, Missouri, my hometown. What have you done to him? It's just a little harmless anesthesia. Nothing to worry about. Uh, I was giving him a free teeth cleaning. You put him under for a teeth cleaning? Oh, I had the strangest dream. I was abducted by a little alien. About the same height as George. And he kept wanting to get sperm samples from me. You have the most fervent imagination. You know, we could have you arrested for that, Nomeo. For your information, I've made it my life's mission to serve this sexy mountain of a man. I would never do a single thing to make him at all uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, right, Nurse Jackie. I'm sure he's very comfortable being drugged and made to be the star of your own personal porn flick. Oh, God, let's get out of here. It's funny. My mouth doesn't hurt at all, but my penis is a little chafed. <sighs> Bye, George. Hey, Detective Winters, thank you for helping getting those breaking and entering charges dropped against me and the guys. Don't worry about it. The assistant DA owes me. Wow, <laughs> it's so hot. I love it when you talk police lingo. So, uh, any sign on him? No, but he has to come home sometime. True. Wow, I had no idea that steakhouse could be so boring. Is there um, anything you could think of that might pass the time? I know something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, that's not gonna go. God, I love steakhouse.
Anybody hungry? Starving. Right. Here's your hamburger. No pickles, no onions, just the way you like it. Wow, you guys really know each other well. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I would say you guys were totally doing each other. <laughs> which would be so hot. And here's your extra large Dr. Pepper, which I don't know why you order it, because you and I both know you're going to have to go to the bathroom before you get halfway through. He's got the bladder the size of a peanut. Just talking about it makes me want to go. I'm going to go use that gas station down the street. Mm. I'll be back. Everything you ordered there, Wood? Seems to be. All right, well, if there's anything else you might need, be sure to let me know. Suspects show up yet? Uh, negative. No, and uh, we've been looking out at that place the entire time, I swear, the entire time. It got hot in here, add some button. Yes. Hot. Hey, what is that, uh... What is that tattoo on your wrist oh. there, Marcus? What oh. is that supposed to be? <laughs> That's an inside joke uh, between me and a friend. That is funny, because it looks exactly like the birthmark on Detective Winter's penis. <laughs> <laughs> it, it totally is. That's actually where I got the idea. Wait, wait, wait. How do you know about his birthmark? Oh my god. My roommates are right, I am so dumb! Are you having sex with Wood? I would never lie to you, Marcus. No. Bullshit! How long has this been going on? Since last Christmas. Last Christmas? Motherfucker, you've been hooking up with this dude since last Christmas? That's fucking outrageous, dude. Not really. I mean, it's no more outrageous than the stuff me and you've been doing for the last few weeks. <laughs> Actually, we do stuff way more kinky than I've ever done with Detective Winters. Woohoo! Shut up, Wood. Wait a minute. You've been having sex with Wood, too? Not since last Christmas. Only for the past few weeks. I took our vows seriously. Vows? They make you guys take vows at the police academy? We're married, Wood. I'm confused. Oh, you should have that printed on a t-shirt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get this straight. You guys are partners and your partners? Wood, could you please step outside while I have a little talk with my husband here? Fine, but I'm taking my burger with me. Yeah, you do that. Afternoon. Hey. hey. Excuse me. I know you. That line almost never works with me, but you're fucking adorable. Yeah, you look so familiar. I'm pretty sure we haven't met, but I would like to get to know you, Shabaka. Um. So, um, you live around here? Live in that building over there. What a coincidence. We've been on a stakeout looking for a guy who lives in that building. What is his name? Turbo. What do you want with him? Oh, uh, my two hot cop boyfriends want to ask him some questions. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm dating two hot cops. <laughs> but I'm not monogamous with either of them, so, you know, you might want to file that away for future reference. Okay. So what would you say your name was again? Oh, no, you don't have to tell me. We can just have anonymous sex. Oh, shit. Hey, guys, guys! We got a runner! We got a runner, he's in! Wow, you guys sure make up fast. It's all right, I got it. How do you like the package? Oh, impressive as always, Eddie. Oh, you mean the cable package? Love it, love it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Got those extra ESPN channels you wanted, Todd. Excellent. Thank you, Reggie. What about HBO? Nah, I was in the mood for anal. Morning. 
Wood, we have been texting you all morning. What happened with Turbo? Did the detectives get him to confess? I don't know. They wouldn't let me in the interrogation room while they were questioning him. Well, then how the hell are we supposed to find out what happened? Well, you could ask the detectives yourself. Eight. Oh, my God. Morning, civilians. Is this my house or a Chi-Chi LaRue set? Well, don't keep us in suspense, detectives. Have you arrested Turbo? No, but he did admit to having an affair with Butler, and he didn't kill him. But he was secretly working for him. I don't get it. Understatement of the year. <sighs> I, I, look, I'm new here. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just trying to fit in, bro. Elliot Butler hired Turbo to get close to Danny and seduce him so he could expose him as being a cheat, so it would hurt his campaign. Baby, you're the best. You thirsty? You want some water? Sure. All right, be right back. That explains why Turbo was secretly meeting with Butler's campaign manager, Mo Kapoor. I had no idea Elliot was so devious. It's kind of odd. The man's dead, Reggie. I know that, Nelson. I mean, I thought I knew everything about him. After all, we were fraternity brothers in college. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. You never told us this. What, you guys were in the same fraternity? Yeah. What was it, Alpha Gay of Faga? Oh. Again, new here. Okay. <laughs> Who's to say Turbo isn't lying to cover his own tracks? Well, he wasn't even at the pool party, and he has an alibi. He was training a wealthy client in Pasadena the whole time. Well, why did he freak out when I approached him in the bathroom? Because he knew you were on to him and he thought you would expose him. People trust their personal trainers with a lot of secrets. And if word got out what he was doing for Butler, it could ruin his business. Hey, we still have an hour before we have to get back to the precinct. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Dirty dog. Coming with? I'll be right there. We're not going to get anywhere in this case with Ponch and John leading the charge. Unless the clues lead to a bathhouse. <laughs> hey. Finally. Oh, hey, uh, hey, what are you looking at? Oh, I just recorded my threesome with the detectives for my Woods webcam show. Hang on, that's it. That's it. Wood was walking around the pool party recording everything on his phone for the web camera. He must have gotten something. Genius. Okay, do I have the smartest boyfriend in the world or what? Well, except when it comes to his past relationships. <laughs> Bunch of losers. No, no, then. Do that. Let's check it out. <sighs> Gee, Wood, it's too bad you didn't get any close-ups of the guy's junk. I did. They're right yeah, there. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I feel violated just watching this. Is there such a thing as camera rape? Oh, yum. Look at that line. Oh, that's got to be at least nine inches. Oh, ten inches. And the girth. It's all about the girth. It totally it's like is a the mushroom girth. head. That's right. Do you three mind? There's nothing going on there. Shut it off. No, wait, wait. Look, look, look. Right there. Who's that? I know that guy. That's Luke. I used to play with him on the gay rugby team. He's following Elliot inside the house, and that was right before he was shot. We should talk to him. This looks kind of suspicious. Excuse me, guys. While you sit around looking at pictures of dicks, I actually got the real thing waiting for me in the other room. And two of them, right? Oh, and one of them? The meat still has its casing. Uh, Hello. Hey, you started without me. Uh, yeah. So that means... I think so. Yeah. It is a... He's not Jewish. Jeez, we should investigate rugby players more often. This reminds me of a cult shoot I did back in the 90s. Except I was the coach and all the players stood over me and they were like, oh, Where is the coach anyway? I mean... Shouldn't they be out on the field? Who just lets their players sit around massaging each other in a public gym? Nice work, boys. Susie? What's she doing here? Great job, Brandon. Way to work Mateo's inner thigh muscles. Don't forget the hip flexors. You okay there, Mateo? Great job. Luke, lay down. Jason, get to work on his glutes. Maximus and Minimus. Knead that ass. Knead it like dough. Make it rise. Work it! Work it!
That's him with the ass. That's Luke. Okay, get in a circle. Let's do the daisy chain stretch. Move it. Now, lay down. Okay, hold hands. Good job, guys. Hey, Susie. Oh. Hey, Wood. I guess you heard I was fired. And they promoted that backstabbing bitch, Harry Potter. Seems that twat went to the bosses and complained that I made him work one weekend. I mean, granted, it was a couple's retreat in Maui, but whatever. So what, you're coaching now? No, actually, I volunteer coaching. You know, being around all these sexy athletic men keeps me feeling young. Do the spanking machine. Coach, what's that supposed to do for us? Agility. Spanking machine, now! Get a load of that one, Sass. It's like two ripe cantaloupes just ready to be slurped. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever, Mary Kay Letourneau. We need to talk to one of your players, Luke. Oh, Luke, my panda bear. What a sweetie, and he's hung like a mule. He's friends with Jason over there, another hottie. He's got a nice piece. Fit. <laughs> that like a beer can. Right. <laughs> How would you know that? <sighs> Baby, believe it or not, I was sexually active before we met. Uh, well, well, so was I. I mean, granted, it was bookstores and public restrooms. That's but a lot. It was, it was still sex time. Mm. Sad. Anyway, it's just a matter of time before Jason lets me do what I've wanted to do since before you were even born. How are you not in jail? Do the scrum. Look, we really need to talk to Luke. What's this all about? Luke is my star player. I really don't need him being distracted. What, did you guys kill somebody in your house again? It'll only take a second. All right, you can talk to him. But the next time I see you, we're moving past oral. I mean, way past. Sure, Susie, whatever. Okay, boys, hit the showers. Luke, these guys need to talk to you. Hey, 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 where, where are you two going? The showers. Yeah. We should thoroughly investigate all of the players. Thoroughly. Elliot was my fuck buddy. He was pretty kinky, too. He really had this thing about getting his ball stretched. I gave him a hell of a workout that day. But he was alive when I left him, I swear. Someone had to have come in after me and shot him. Did he ever talk to you about the movie Dumbo? Mm-mm. You know, your ass is not that perfect. Am I ever going to have friends again? Ah, rugby, huh? Nice balls. Excuse me? Oh, I uh, like the balls that you guys use, you know, when you play rugby. Dude, do you mind? <laughs> You'll have to forgive my friend. He doesn't know any better. You're looking at my jump, too. Can you at least pass the soap? Sure. Here you go. Oh, I dropped it. Hey, oldies. When should you get out of here and go troll somewhere else? Who are you calling old? I just turned 40. <laughs> yeah, right. Now beat it, Gramps. So, did you notice anything unusual the day of the pool party? Something that s stood out to you? Mm. The nerve of that guy calling me old. I mean, I could understand if he was talking to Nelson, but... Do you mind? We're questioning tasty cakes here with the alleged beer can cat. Let me start. God. Well, Elliot was kind of tense that day. He was all freaked out about some guy at the pool party he really couldn't stand. Some charity guy. Works for a nonprofit. I guess he was threatening a lawsuit. And he and Elliot had a huge fight the week before. His name wouldn't happen to be Jeremy, would it? I think that's it, yeah. Are you listening, Nelson? Did you hear that? Your Mr. Perfect had a big fight with Elliot and is probably his killer. Hey, Todd, uh, the guys in there are gonna go grab some beers. Why don't you come join us for uh, old time's sake? No, I better not. No, no, it's okay, really, I, I want you to go. Uh, go with your friend. Really? Yeah, have fun. You sure? Absolutely. All right, thank you. Okay. Let's get out of here. 
Don't let your mind go there, Nelson. I know, I know. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Too late. I gotta admit, I thought that it was a little bit strange that you insisted that I cook dinner for us at my place. I mean, that seems like a, I don't know, like a third or fourth date kind of thing. Yeah, well, like I said on the phone, you know, MSG and sodium at all the restaurants these days. Mm. Nothing like a home-cooked, wholesome meal. Yeah, it's true. I thought it was also a little weird that you even wanted to date with me. I mean, what's changed? It didn't seem that end to me at your place the other night. What happened? Really? My God, no, no, no. I mean, I wanted to come over here tonight and get to know you and hear all about your charity. Mm. So how are things in the stressful world of nonprofits? Donor issues, fundraising woes, lawsuits, perhaps? That's kind of a funny question. Well, um, it's just that I have a friend who works in nonprofit, and he tells me all the time how hard it is, you know, raising money and, and flaky donors bowing out all the time. Yeah, well, it is tough. It's very stressful sometimes, too. You know, I really love the kids. They need us. I, it's nothing glamorous like true crime books or anything like that, but I, uh, I really, really love what I do. Yeah, yeah, kids are special. I get it. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, 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 your pasta's boiling over. Oh, yeah, right over there. Mm. All right. Almost ready. What are you doing? Uh, I was looking for a pen. A pen? Yes, a pen. Because I'm going to write you a check for your charity. I'm a giver, and uh, I don't have my checkbook on me, but I could certainly... Give you a five. What you're... are you doing going through my stuff? Okay. Yes, I am going through your stuff. Because I believe that you had something to do with Elliot Butler's murder. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's right. I know for a fact you two had a big fight the week before he died. Something about a lawsuit. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was planning to sue Elliot. He screwed me over big time, big time. He committed over a hundred grand to the charity. We based our budgets and, and, and our programs on that money. And then when it came time to pay up, he pulled out. He screwed me and he screwed the kids. So you shot him. Wow, that's the only reason you came here, isn't it? <laughs> My God, I am an idiot. God. I am an idiot. You don't want to date me. You want to indict me. Well, you have to admit, it's a little suspicious. I mean, you have a motive. You were at the party. I left the party. I couldn't get in to see Elliot because that English queen wouldn't let me anywhere near him. And then you blew me off. Thank you very much. And then I left right after I met you. I went and I filled my car up with a tank of gas down at the bottom of the hill, and then I, I drove straight home. So you left the party early? Yes. The guy that you should be investigating is Elliot's ex-boyfriend. They had a, a nasty breakup. Elliot said that he drained him of all of his money, and that was another reason that he wouldn't donate to my charity. So what's the boyfriend's name? I don't, I don't remember. It's, uh, he's like a casting guy, some, some like muscle dude. Ivan? Uh, Ivan so-and-so? Yes. Oh, yes. my God, Russian, Jeremy. Like I, Russian I am so sorry. Oh, I feel horrible. Uh, boy, you really take this whole true crime mystery thing seriously, don't you? Okay. You're a real Jessica Fletcher. Oh, my God, I love that show. <laughs> right? My favorite as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so from the same generation. <laughs> um, listen, can I borrow your bathroom? Yeah, it's right through the door. Wood, I need you to call Detective Winters and have him check to see if Jeremy used his credit card on the day of the murder at the Arco station at the corner of Beechwood and Franklin. I don't give a rat's ass that you're watching SpongeBob. Just do it! Wow, you never let up, do you? 
What's that? It's a credit card receipt for gas. I write them off through work. Take a look at the date and the time. I don't need to notice the date and time, Jeremy. I trust you. <laughs> God. Look, I'm, I'm just being thorough. Jessica Fletcher would be thorough. I get it, Detective Hatch. <laughs> Actually, I, um, I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> A little bit sexy, too. <laughs> Just a little? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> well, I guess now that you got what you came here for, you're probably not really interested in a dinner date, are you? Are you kidding? That chicken artichoke pasta smells delicious. <laughs> and there's one thing you need to know about me. I never, ever leave a half-empty bottle of wine. <laughs> Let's check out Ivan's Facebook page. Maybe we'll find some evidence. You know, Detective Winters and Marcus say they use it all the time to bust dudes. God, I love their penises. I know you do. You talk about them enough. Hey, Reggie, didn't you go to Marist College in upstate New York? Yeah, why? So did Ivan. What? Move over. He's right, and he was an Alpha Phi Delta. They were like our biggest rival. I don't remember Ivan in college. Guys, see what this means? Ivan and Elliot didn't just have a nasty breakup. They have some sort of checkered history together. This just solidifies our case. They must have had some sort of fight at the party, and then things got out of hand, and Ivan shot Elliot dead on the spot. How do we prove it? I tell you what, I'm going to go over to Ivan's casting studio and, and dig around a little and see what I can come up with. I love this! Oh my god, Preston Beckworth died a few months ago. He was in my fraternity. I even started a memorial page. I, I had no idea. Uh, were you guys close? Well, back then, but, you know, we kind of lost touch over the years. Preston, I don't know, he's one of those guys who's very shallow, bitchy, slutty. And my god, did he drink way too much. And frankly, I didn't want that kind of behavior rubbing off on me. Don't say a word. something here today? What is it? I am totally right for this. Why doesn't my manager ever submit me for this stuff? Believe Ugh! What the hell are you doing here? I didn't call you in to read for this. Well, actually, I came here to talk to you about something else, but hey, <laughs> as long as I'm here, I mean... Forget it! Get lost, dork off! That's not very nice. That's his name, Queen! So, uh, how many more people do we got to see because I... Who's this? <laughs> a huge pain in the ass. He was just leaving. Hmm. I don't see to go with somebody slightly younger. I, I can play young. What is this, like a, a pilot or... Commercial. Uh, what's the product? Uh, adult diapers. <sighs> I'm Nelson Dorkoff. I haven't started the camera yet. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. I... I... I'm a little nervous. I haven't had a commercial audition since I lost out to that guy from Modern Family for the National Tub Spot. Like, you have to be famous to get indigestion. <laughs> I get gas all the time. Just, just go ahead and slate your name, okay? Just go. I'm Nelson Dorkoff, and I'm with Last Stop Management. Anytime you're ready, Nelson. Okay. Here I am at a red carpet Hollywood premiere. And I'm wearing a diaper. Hey, look at me on the tennis court. Nice backhand, right? I'm wearing a diaper. Wow, look at me. I'm really, really raising the roof at a buddy's wedding. And I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> Socums, super absorbent adult briefs. Dry where it counts. Thanks for coming in, Nelson. Book him. What? I haven't seen anybody today that made me believe more that he'd wear an adult diaper. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not rush this. There's other actors we need to see. Actors with actual talent and credits. I want him. Make it happen. <laughs> see you on set. 
Yep, we found our shitter. Oh, yes. You fat, hairy fuck. Now I gotta go tell the real actors to go home. Hi, everyone. Listen, thank you so much for your time, but the role has been cast. Thank you. What? Get the fuck out! Sorry, guys. <laughs> what can I say? I nailed it. <laughs> nice try, though. Good effort. Why'd you come here, Nelson? Was it to warn me to stay away from Todd or else? No, I don't need to warn you, Ivan. I have complete trust in Todd, and I am confident enough in our relationship to know that you're no threat to me. In fact, you rarely enter my mind. Well, hardly ever. You're a real piece of work, you know? I don't know how you pulled this off. This is a national campaign. With Super Bowl spots! Wait, wait a minute. Are, are you saying that I'm going to be like the spokesperson and, and face of incontinence? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes! Judging! Hello! Score! <laughs> Let's just go back to my office and fill out the paperwork. Unbelievable! Okay, you finish the rest of this, okay? And I'm gonna call your reps. You have reps, don't you? Oh, 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 Ivan. Hey, buddy. Hey, listen, I need a favor. Could you have some of the diapers, like maybe a case, sent over to the house? I want to be able to rehearse in them. Do you ever shut the fuck up? I need a smoke, motherfucker! You know, smoking's really bad for shut you. Shut up! Hello. Reggie. Oh my god. You are not going to believe what I found. What? Fame! I am going to be the voice of incontinence! What are you talking about? I'm at Ivan's commercial casting studio. I booked a national commercial! You're supposed to be investigating him. I am, Reggie. Oh, oh, and I found a gun, too. Yeah, in his backpack. What? Oh, okay, Nelson, I want you to get the hell out of there and be careful with that gun. Reggie! I've been around guns before, okay? I know when the safety... Nelson? What the fuck was that? A uh, car! Backfired on Santa Monica. A car? That didn't yeah. sound like a fucking car. Yeah, well, well it did. And uh, um, <laughs> I, I, I really have to go. Oh, all my paperwork's done. It's right there. Just signed everything. And uh, hey, thanks a lot for the typer gig. I really appreciate it. I just got off the phone with the detectives. The gun that I found in Ivan's office matches the gun that killed Elliot Butler. Bingo! Yeah, we were right. Yeah, <laughs> your ex is the killer. Yeah, crazy, okay? Yeah, it turns out that he has a history of mental illness. In fact, he was even hospitalized years ago for attacking somebody. This is great. Oh my God, this is fantastic. <sighs> wow. I can't believe that I'm actually gonna get justice and closure. For Elliot's family. Yeah, is that who you're texting? No, my book agent. I'm gonna get double the advance I got for the last book. Double! The cops went to pick up Ivan, but uh, he fled, so they put out an APB on him. Oh my god, I hope this doesn't affect my Socom's campaign. Uh, speaking of which, I had an entire case of adult diapers delivered here earlier today, and a few of them are missing. Any idea where they went? Ooh, I didn't touch them. Well, don't look at me, I can control my bowels. <laughs> Okay, okay. I went and got the new iPhone at the Apple Store today. But you have to wait in line like all day and I didn't want to lose my spot. P.S. Hello. They are really super absorbent. Come on, let's get some champagne and celebrate. Yes. Surreal. 
can't believe Ivan's a killer now. I mean, I know we had emotional problems, and when he went off his medication, he really went off his medication, but, uh, murder. I, I didn't think he had it in him. Hey, look on the bright side. You now get to brag to all of your family and friends. You're dating the diaper king. Yay. Lucky me. That open. are looking for you. They're, they're probably in Wood's bedroom as we speak. Shut up, you fat fuck. I can't believe you. You ruined my life. You ruined your own life. Killing your ex, Elliot? Yeah, yeah, I found the gun in your office. That's bullshit. You planted it there. Don't make things worse, Ivan. Put down the knife. No! Why would Todd want to be with you? Why doesn't Todd love me? Elliot didn't love me. And Todd doesn't love me. Put down the knife. Why doesn't anybody fucking love me? You say mine. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm calling the police. All right. No, I'll do it. Oh my god. Hello, police? Yeah, uh, can you come over to our house immediately? Oh my god. Wow, you 911 guys are really on top of it. You guys are like super cops. I didn't even have to leave my address for the operator. Wood, we didn't come for the call. We came to break up with you. It's the only way we could save our marriage. We thought we could make it work. But at the end of the day, three's a crowd. Hey, but it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, have fun making license plates in prison, Ivan. I'm going to be making big money wearing diapers. Winston, are you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. I just... Paramedics gave me a couple stitches. Well, look at you all badass with the pain. You know, I was really proud of you tonight. You were very brave. Hey, I got a great idea. 
Let's get away for the weekend. Take a mini vacation. We can go to Big Bear. But I didn't win the raffle for the cabin. Can we afford it? Are you kidding me? After what happened here tonight, my next book royalties are going to be through the roof. I'm sorry, I didn't take you more seriously about Ivan. Hey, you don't owe me any apologies, okay? If anybody owes any apologies around here, it's me to you. I mean, I've been nuts lately. You know, imagining you having sex with everybody you encounter and thinking I see Cyril around every corner. I've been crazy lately. Look, I'll take you just the way you are. And besides, don't know uh, when crazy people have the best sex. Mm, yeah, that explains it. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to a quiet, stress-free weekend. Reggie, you totally score with this place. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe my uh, brush with death brought you so much fun money. New suitcase? And wardrobe. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Goodness. Okay, I paid for this place. I'm making sure we get the best bedroom. Oh my god, you guys. I think I saw a porno that was shot here once. It's called Cabin Full of Cock. It's about a bunch of guys that have 10 inch penises and they jack off. They jacked off in front of that fireplace. Yeah, and they jacked off on that mind. We have a guest with us. Oh, it's okay. I, I saw Cabin Full of Cock. One, two, and three. They're classics. I knew I liked this guy. <laughs> three was the best. Yeah. Oh, you've seen it too? I appreciate you guys including me on your weekend. This place is beautiful. Well, we appreciate you coming along. Hmm. I'm going to go check on the chili. Hey, could you bring us another round when you get a chance? Sure. Oh, great. Thanks. Okay, Reggie. I got to tell you, I am proud of you. No, really. I mean, asking him along, that's a big step for you. I know. I hope I'm not making a mistake. What the hell am I doing, Nelson? I don't even know if I'm capable of dating just one person. Listen to me. That guy over there is for real, okay? I don't want you missing out on something special. A and I'm saying this because I love you. You know, I don't want you to run away like you always do, okay? Give this one a chance. Son, this is a coincidence seeing you here. Danny, what are you doing here with Turbo? Uh, we're staying at a cabin down the road. A friend of ours won a weekend rental and a raffle and uh, decided to crash and enjoy a little honeymoon. Ooh, so you left your wife. <laughs> yeah, finally. This bear needed to roam in his natural habitat. <laughs> Damn. So, uh, we heard about you guys solving Elliot Butler's murder. I assume your roommates have taken us off the suspects list. Yeah, sorry about the whole breaking into your office thing and then me publicly exposing you with the kiss. And because of that kiss from you, I'm up ten points in the polls today. Well, we should uh, probably get going, uh, but we'll be seeing you tonight. Tonight? Yeah, we're at the little grocery store in town and ran into that uh, big, tall, kind of slow guy. Wood. Yeah, him. Uh, he invited us over to your house for cocktails, so we'll be seeing you later, sexy. All right, well, you bring the cock and I'll bring the tail. You got it. Hurry, hurry. Um, hurry. Uh, first mystery author to write about a gay detective. Justin uh, Vincent! Yes! Good, good, good. Um, 
Oh, my favorite actress. Uh, her first movie was Napoleon and... Jodie and- Foster! Yes! Oh, my God, yes, amazing. Yes. Oh! Um, I knew I was gay when I was 12 years old because I love this band. Oh, please. Abba! Yes! Oh, great. Tom! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! All right. Did y'all have some kind of mind meld or something beforehand? <laughs> you must have amazing sex. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that was quite a team effort. Thanks for including me. Um, listen, I am going to go fetch more snacks, and I'm taking this with me because I don't want any of you bitches cheating. Okay. You know what? I'm going to get some more beers. Who wants one? I'll take yeah, one, two, one, three, four, five. Got it. God, how you? Winners, you scared me. Oh, oh my god! Oh. I'm sorry. I just had to come up here and see you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Well, does Marcus know you're here? No. I told him I got called out of town on another case. I hate lying to him, but he's been acting really weird lately. I just can't quit you, Wood. I don't want to come between you and Marcus, okay? But I guess that's physically impossible because he's so far away. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Australian country singer married Nicole Kidman. Keith Urban. Yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, mommy dearest, Mildred Pierce. Uh, Tom Crawford. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up, come on. Clock's ticking, Reggie. Sounds oh. like. What? Yeah, do a sound alike. <laughs> what? What? Come on. What? Who put this in here? Okay, yeah, you can't ask that. Who is it? What? I said, who put this in here? What the hell is wrong with him? What? Reggie. Didn't you arrest me? Yeah, that was me. Cool. What is the matter with you? This Dumbo. Did you guys do this? Are you are you screwing with me? No, no, I didn't. Well, we're the only four people who knew what Elliot said to be right before he died. If we didn't put that in there, who did? I, I, it's a very popular Disney movie. I, I, yeah, come on, nothing's right. Anyone could have put it in there. Yeah, you're being paranormal. He means paranoid, and he's right. Dumbo, what are the odds, and why didn't anybody out there admit to writing it down? I don't know. If it's a lame celebrity clue, maybe they're embarrassed. They should be. I think you've been reading too many mystery novels. Yeah, Ivan is Elliot's killer. He's in jail now. He was arrested. He tried to kill the two of us. But we never connected him to Dumbo. What if Dumbo was a clue identifying the real killer? What if Ivan didn't kill Elliot and the real killer's still lurking around out there somewhere? Oh my God, calm down. Are you high? Did you do a pot brownie or something? We agreed. No more medicinal marijuana, especially on vacations. (laughs) Don't you remember what happened last time? Wood thought he was the Lunesta butterfly and tried to fly out a window naked. I am not high. Well, you're acting crazy. Yeah, just like me thinking I'm seeing Cyril everywhere is crazy. It's the same thing. Reg, you okay? The guys all left. I'm I'm worried about you. Uh, I'm okay. I'm I'm just exhausted. Uh, Can we just call it a night? I'm sorry about all that. My nerves are just a little in itch. (laughs) Hey, thanks for being here for me. I'm really glad you came. I'm glad I came too. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) I've waited a long time for that. There we go. And. You, but the uh, mountains make me pretty horny. Is that so, huh? Yeah, how are you feeling? 
Yeah, I'm glad like that. Yeah, how's that? Huh? That's good too. That's I thought I took care of that earlier, though. Yeah, it came I'm back. Take care of it again. How does nipples do? I'm really doing pretty well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be that kind, of, that kind of night, huh? It's gonna be that kind of night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take, take care. care. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Oh my God! What? 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 I thought I saw Cyril again. Oh my God. I know, Again. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. I'm just being paranoid like Reggie. Forget it. Forget it. I, he's not out there. I, I, he's not out there. He's not out there. No. He's not out he's there. Not. Let's go to bed. Let's have sex. Mm. you forever if you put some coffee on. Jeremy! I always knew you'd be a screamer, oh. Reggie. But don't be rude and wake up the whole house. Hey, what? No coffee? Do I have to do everything, Reggie Reg? Reggie? I don't understand. Why would you come back here? To be with you? I'm crazy about you, Reggie. I've been waiting for my moment to surprise you. But you were never alone. Cyril, I am sorry if during our interviews I gave you the wrong impression. Well, how could you shoving your tongue down my throat possibly give me the wrong impression? Okay, okay, I may have crossed a line, but we can't be together. It's because of Nelson, isn't it? He doesn't approve. What's his beef, anyway? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you stabbing him in the neck with the whole poison ingestion thing? Maybe? He really needs to let that go. Uh, Would we make breakfast? Todd? Yeah, uh, we need two more place settings. They both showed up last night and said they couldn't live without me. Yeah, we're going to give this whole thruple thing a try. Oh my god, look at that. They have both that morning wood. Yeah, I see. Okay, just when I think I'm getting more progressive, you raise the bar. Hmm. <sighs> okay, you know what? I uh, I just need to borrow your phone. Okay, you know my battery's dead, and uh, I need to check my email because they, you know they want to schedule a costume fitting for this this commercial I'm doing next week. I thought adult diapers were one size fits all. Mm. Morning. Morning. Hey, morning. Mm-hmm. Hi, morning. Hello, sir. Mm. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go on out and I'll come back later to borrow the phone. No, 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 no. You borrow the phone, just hurry. Well, I could, I really do need to check my email. All right, where is it? Oh, yes. Where is it? Over it's here? Weird, so I want this out the way. Okay, I'll just. I'm not seeing anything. You're three consenting adults. Okay. Awesome detectives, but you know what? One of you is better at that than the other. Oh, what? The phone's not here. It's not here. It's, it was there. It's in the bed. Oh, you know what? It's in the bed. I'm not going in the bed. Can you see I'm busy? Hello. Dude, that's my ass, not a phone. Okay, got it. I'm sorry, Victory. detective. Don't, don't. Rude. Oh, you were the one who asked me to Just go under the covers. Get the hell out. All right, don't mind me. And now I can finally have you to myself. No more distractions. Who's this Jeremy douchebag anyway? He's so fucking milk toast. I expected more from you, Reggie. We'll be getting rid of him, too. Oh, my God. You killed Elliot. And it's my fault. You overheard me talking about him on the phone. Elliot looks so much better than he did in college. He's all beefed up. He's got this sexy beard. And he's going to be a big-time politician now. I don't even one minute. Why can't I find someone like that? Nelson wasn't being paranoid. You were at the pool party. You saw how badly I wanted to get in to see Elliot, and that drove you crazy. So you waited until he was alone. And you shot him dead. You found a way to gain access to Ivan's office. And then you planted the gun on Ivan, knowing it would eventually come out that he was Elliot's unstable ex. 
I knew I shouldn't have kissed you that day. I should have learned from the mistakes of my idol Truman Capote, who got way too close to those in-cold blood guys. My therapist told me it's healthy to point out the annoying habits of your lover so that it doesn't build up inside and cause problems later. So here goes. Reggie, you talk too much! We are not a couple, Cyril. We never will be! I knew this was going to be a messy breakup. We are not a couple, Cyril. We never will be! I knew this was going to be a messy breakup. Jeremy, what the fuck? His name is Cyril. It, it's a long story. You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. Oh my God, if you hadn't come along, I... You okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, Nelson can rest easy now that Cyril's back behind bars for good. <laughs> we all can. <laughs> Should I should I be nervous about dating you? I mean, this whole murder thing seems like a like a pattern with you guys. <laughs> Hopefully, that's the last of it. <laughs> this is nice. I'm glad the guys let us have the place for a couple hours. Jeremy, I want to apologize for judging you at first. I mean, I don't care about what you do or how much money you make. I uh, I care about you, and. Um, I'm starting to develop some really deep, deep feelings for you. <laughs> Seriously, I better get that. <laughs> Hello. Detective Winters, please. I'm sorry, he's not in. May I take a message? Yeah, he, he left me this number to call if I had some information for him, and I was finally able to track that gas receipt from the station at the corner of Beechwood and Franklin. It doesn't matter anymore. We have a copy of the receipt. Well, Jeremy Richards' card was used on that date. But the surveillance videos show that it was a woman who came in and made the transaction. I'm sorry, did you say a woman? Yep. It may have been Jeremy's card. But it definitely wasn't him. Are you saying Jeremy Richards never was at that gas station? It doesn't look like it. You know, I was really starting to care about you. That's why I didn't kill you when I had the chance. But now I guess, I guess I'm going to have to. Oh my God, I totally forgot about the gas station security cameras. <laughs> I thought that my receipt was going to be enough of an alibi. <laughs> my bad. So, so who's the girl? Is she in on it with you? Uh, she's just a neighbor. I had to take me to and from the pool party. I told her I wanted to be able to drink and not have to drive. So she used your credit card to fill up your gas tank. Very good, Jessica Fletcher. And then I went in and put a big fucking bullet right into your friend Elliot's chest. And she came and picked me up a few minutes later. Having no idea you're a murderer. <laughs> Why? Why did you do it, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you still don't remember me, do you? <laughs> I'm Dumbo. I don't know why I would expect you to remember me. I mean, Ellie and your bitchy fraternity brothers, they didn't remember me either. At least not at first. Dumb. Is it starting to come back to you? Okay, guys, here we go. 
Sorry. So, we have to narrow down the list of possible pledges from Rush Week. What about Jeremy Richards? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Dumbo? Oh my god, did you see his ears? <laughs> no shit. I wonder if he has bionic hearing. <laughs> when I interviewed him, I asked him if I could tell him this funny story about this chick I'm banging. That's what he said. I'm all ears! <laughs> So, we should blackball Dumbo. Oh my god, oh, blackball him, absolutely. Listen up. Dumbo and blackball! <laughs> You're this. You're done. <laughs> Dumbo, Dumbo, Dumbo. You went through fraternity rush. We blackballed you. I was eavesdropping outside of the fraternity house window and I heard every mean word that you people said about me. The nickname Dumbo? Oh, how clever, Reggie. You think I never heard that one before? <laughs> Jeremy, I'm sorry. I'll save it! Yeah, so I had insanely large ears. So what? But thanks to my cousin, esteemed plastic surgeon Ronnie Berkowitz of Boca Raton, I had the world's first ear reduction surgery. And you look amazing. I'm, I was shallow back then. I was young and I was stupid. I mean, I'm not that way now. Really, really, really? Please! You still judge me! I threw myself at you and you still think you're superior to me! Why couldn't we have driven to dinner? You know, hiking back after a huge meal sucks. Well, it's good for you, and we said we we're gonna try and get your triglycerides down, right? Uh, whatever. I, I'm fat. Who gives a shit? I give a shit, and your heart gives a shit too. I'm good. Okay. So let's All go. Right. Did you even know that I was a legacy at that fraternity? But you assholes still blackballed me. I never got into the prestigious grad schools that you guys did. So what? They only load you up with student loan debt. I never made the connections that other people make. Those are overrated. I never had the brakes or the, or the traction for any career path. What about your charity work with the dolphins? It was orphans. Shit. And I was lying, you idiot. There is no charity. I'm unemployed. My whole life has been shit. Until last year, when I finally had the interview of my dream job. And it was between me and one other guy. And I didn't get it. How is that my fault? They gave it to one of your fraternity brothers. So you decided to kill us? Yeah. <laughs> one by one. A faulty break in Hartford. A fake suicide in Madison. And then I finally headed west to finish off the final two. You? An Elliot! <laughs> ah! 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 Looks like we've hit a dead end, lover. You ready to die? Hey, isn't that Jeremy and Reggie? Yeah. Oh, wow, they're, they're lookout point. Yeah, that's romantic. Kind of looks like they're arguing about something. Yeah, and why is Jeremy wielding a pitchfork? We have to help him. Yeah, but we gotta sneak up on him, because if we spook him, they're gonna go over the edge. What is that? Elliot finally figured out who you were, didn't he? Yeah. Even after the ear reduction. 
I saw that guy leave the house after having sex with Elliot, and then I slipped inside. He had heard about the untimely deaths of the frat brothers, and he was starting to piece it together. That's why he texted you. He was going to warn you. Only I didn't give him the chance. You were the one who planted the murder weapon on Ivan to throw everybody off. Yeah, just because I wanted to take my own sweet time with you. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're enjoying our vacation. Shh, shh. In a sling, in a public forest. Yes. Guys, shut up. You need to come with us now. Reggie's in trouble. Come here. What do you mean he's in trouble? You guys are cops. Do something. We left our guns at the cabin. But you remembered to bring a sling? Come on, Reggie. Jump! Save us both the trouble. Uh, uh, Come on, Reggie. Just do it. Jump! Why postpone the inevitable? Do it! Do it! Fuck you, Dumbo! Freeze, Jeremy! We've got you surrounded! I can't believe I have to sleep alone tonight. The detectives both had to go back to L.A. And it was my turn to be the pig on the spit. Wow, Wood. You're really getting into this whole menage a trois, aren't you? Sorry, but I don't speak Spanish. You, uh, you okay? Mm-hmm. I think what you need is a long dip in the hot tub. That sounds great. We'll meet you out there. Oh, look at this. Look who is this? Do, do you think they would notice if it's missing? Because it would look so perfect in our living room. The trunk opens. Like I said, <sighs> great ass, horrible, horrible taste. taste. gonna be all right you know what no I don't think I'm gonna be all right I am so tired of being alone I would love to find someone real but uh, a part of me is afraid that I'm just never gonna find it so maybe it's just easier to pretend I don't want it am I ever gonna be as lucky as you Nelson am I ever gonna find what you found with Todd of course you are. Reggie, come on. You're a terrific guy. And you know, I don't feel like we say this enough, but you're a good friend, too. Yeah. yeah. We love you, Reggie. And you're never getting rid of us. <laughs> Come here. 
get in here. Let's do the hug. Thanks, guys. I love you, too. And you're right. We're always going to be together. Cheers to that. Except maybe tonight. I just got hit up on Growler about an hour ago from a guy who's staying two cabins down the road. His name is Frederico. He's this hot, sexy muscle bear from Spain. And he read my book and he loved it. Although I don't know really how much he understands because his English is horrible. But really, who cares? Because let me show you the naked pictures he sent me of himself. And I think I'm moving to Spain tomorrow, so I guess maybe we won't be together. And I'm going to have to learn Spanish. And I don't know a word of Spanish except activo and pasivo. And don't you dare say a word about what you think I am because I'm a versatile. 